κόκκινη κλωστή δεμένη στην ανέμη τη λιγμένη δώσ' της κλότσο να γυρίσει παραμύθι να αρχινήσει The red thread is bound in my finger around Give it a spin and let it roll so the tale can be told. This is a traditional opening of Greek fairy tales. In storytelling, we don't have uh, separate fairy tales, folk tales, biographical tales, but a unity. A unity that is a common product. You have a community that produces storytelling. The storyteller is a product of the community, represents the community. My name is Stelios Pelasgos and I am a professional storyteller and an author and a pedagogist, educationalist. I work with different kinds of people, children, refugees, Roma, children suffering in the hospitals and people incarcerated in prisons. And always storytelling has a deep therapeutical and educational value. And my art, which is a traditional art, reviewed by the modern science, is greatly valued. What is storytelling? Storytelling is the simple act of telling a story. But then we have to ask ourselves, what is a story? Everything is simple. Story is a narration of some acts with a meaning inside, not always evident, and a certain aesthetic value. We like stories. We value stories. We think that stories are useful and we are better people hearing and telling stories. Storytelling is a physical act. It has nothing to do with words. It has everything to do with words incorporated. That's gesture, that's eye movement, that's contact. Speaking in terms of multiple intelligence, which is my field of expertise in evolutionary psychology, the storyteller combines five, at least, intelligences. Linguistic, speaking, rhythmical, musical. Words have a rhythmic and a melodic value. Then uh, kinesthetic, because I move. This is a body, a body art gesture and then the two personal intelligences interpersonal using my own feelings recognizing my own feelings and intrapersonal recognizing your feelings and shifting gears and turning right or left as we move within the story, within the labyrinth of the story, to reach our end. I am the guide and I have to read your hints, to read your body language, to read your eyes and your movement. So it is not so, so simple. We have different levels of storytelling and storytelling is an art that is inherited. 
a traditional art. I have the inheritance of my grandmother, who was a great Greek traditional storyteller, speaking also Albanian, because this is not a language barrier art. It overcomes barriers between languages, between cultures, between genders, and between social classes. So it is very useful educationally, because in a public school, in every school, you have different, very different people, children young and old children rich or poor, children from different uh, uh, ethnic communities, even from different languages. You could have refugees trying to get incorporated in your own culture and you have to learn their own culture in order to discuss with them. Different genders you have different shapes and different mentalities and different attitudes in the class. So story unites and story can speak to everyone. And for our purposes, a story well told artistically, with love, with care, with uh, that special educational love we have towards our own pupils. A well-told story is a mighty weapon that can appease, that can bring unity and can progress. And storytelling traditionally was the binding element in the communities. So. Your class in the school is a community. You have to see it as a community. And how can we bind the community with different methods? But storytelling is a binding element. In, it makes links. Biographical storytelling is a form of storytelling where you can use life stories and um, little bits of information about you, images, to introduce yourself, but also to make your point clear. This is not something that someone wrote in a book or someone imagined uh, painting or telling a picture. This is actual life. It has happened to me. With different meanings. Of course, storytelling is very useful because you can interpret. You can interpret the meaning, even in biographical stories. Your own experience can mean another thing to another person. And this is the task and the duty of the teacher, of the educator, to, to make clear that there are different approaches to the same story. So you can effectively fight discrimination, you can effectively fight marginalization and all kinds of uh, negative stereotypes that uh, occur in a normal class, having all sorts of children. <laughs>